everybody, I'm Natalia Bonner. It's day 83. Today I'll be stitching with my inside out machine quilting ruler. Now all the products that I'm using here on the thread, I'm using so fine and bottom line. The batting that I'm using on this project, this particular panel is one layer of the quilter string poly deluxe. Now if you've been stitching along, you probably remember that the first panel I stitched using one layer of the quilter string wool batting. You can pick up all those products on our website, peaceandquilt.com. In the meantime, let's get stitching. I'll begin by using a blue Mark Be Gone marker and finding the center of my triangle or as close to the center as I can. After I find the center, I'll begin my stitching. Starting in the lower left corner, I'm going to stitch a diagonal line from the lower left corner to that center marked point. Now you can see here on my block as I'm stitching, I did go through and mark lines where I would stitch my foundation. This is something that's completely optional. If it helps you to have more stitching lines, then absolutely go through and mark more lines. Once I've stitched to that top center point, then I will rotate my ruler from that center point and stitch all the way straight up to the top of the block. From there, once I get to the top of the block, I'll adjust my inside out machine quilting ruler and stitch along the ditch, moving down towards the left side a quarter of an inch. I'll line up the ruler so that the side of the ruler is right along my previous stitching. I'll stitch an echo line along the left side of the block, echoing that first stitched line. Once I reach the bottom left point on the block, then I will adjust my ruler again and stitch along the ditch on the left side of the block. From there, I'll continue stitching along the ditch all the way to the top of the block, then back down to the bottom right corner. From there, I'll stitch along that diagonal line that I had marked, or you can just stitch point to point. But this time, when I reach that marked point in the center of the block, I will stitch along my previous stitch line right back down to the center point or the right corner. From that point, I'll adjust my ruler, stitch up the ditch along the right side of the block, moving in a quarter of an inch, I'll stitch a second echo line. From there, when I reach the top of the block, I will again stitch along the right side ditch to the bottom of the block. Once I reach the bottom of the block, I'll adjust my ruler, stitch along the bottom, moving over a quarter of an inch and stitching a third inside echo. From there, I'll stitch along the bottom of the block to finish off that design. Then I'll use a little bit of water and spritz away those marked lines. Hey friends, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow.